Tally ho, flight nerds. This is Ben Johnson from FlightNerdAirForce.com. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the altimeter. You don't want to smash into the ground, do you? That's a bad day. You don't want to do that. The altimeter is super important to helping you make sure you stay above the ground, not under the ground or in the ground. Okay? Uh, it actually shows us, obviously, the altimeter shows us at what altitude we are flying. So it's obviously a very important instrument for us as we're flying airplanes or even if we're just playing with our flight simulator at home. Um, and it's critical for understanding uh, how to fly legally and safely. So I hope you enjoy today's video about the altimeter. Well, right here we have our altimeter, as we can see here in the flight simulator. Uh, the altimeter has three different dials. Uh, as we climb, these dials will turn in a clockwise direction. Uh, and each of them represents uh, a different amount of feet that we are climbing uh, as we as we climb in the aircraft. Uh, the longest of uh, the dials here uh, covers for every number that it goes. So if we went from zero to one, uh, the aircraft would be uh, climbing in altitude, increasing in altitude of 100 feet. So for every one it moves, uh, it is covering 100 feet. Uh, the middle length dial right here, for every number that it moves, so if it moved from zero to one, it would actually be an increase in altitude of 1,000 feet. So the longest one is an increase in altitude of 100 feet between each of the numbers. Uh, the middle length one is an increase of 1,000 feet between each of these numbers. Uh, and then of course what we have up here, and it's kind of hard to see, it's a long thin uh, line right up here from the center and at the end of it is this little triangle way on the outside of the dial and for every number that it moves from 0 to 1 or 1 to 2 that is an increase of 10,000 feet so why is that all important that we have a 100 feet a 1,000 feet and 10,000 feet um, this actually helps us if we put all three of these dials together it will help us recognize uh, how many feet we're at even if we've climbed to a pretty significant altitude so right now we can see that this longest uh, dial here is pointed down at two ticks past the four mark so if every one of these numbers is 100 feet that means this one is representing 400 uh, plus uh, each tick is 20 feet because we have 20 40 60 80 100 and so we are actually at, this one is indicating 440 feet of elevation, of, of altitude, excuse me, of altitude. Uh, but if we also go down to this middle dial, uh, we will see that it's actually indicating something very similar. Um, we actually, it's showing a little bit more than that. What we, we are showing that this is past the one mark and is now about halfway, a little short of halfway, between one and two. So that means we're actually at over 1,000 feet of altitude showing on our altimeter here. Uh, and then of course, if we go to the, the shortest one up here, the little triangle, uh, we are showing just shy, somewhere between the zero and the uh, 1,000, uh, the, the, and the 2,000 foot mark here. So we are not even halfway to the 10,000 foot mark. So really, because we are such a low altitude, this dial is not showing us a whole lot of information, just basically that we are less than 10,000 feet. So we can look at these two now to see that we are more than 1,000. The, the best way to look at these is we are between 1 and 2,000. Uh, and then we can look at the long one to see exactly how far above 1,000 we are, which we've said is 440 feet. So our altimeter is showing 1,440 feet of altitude that we have right here. So these three dials work together to show us how much altitude we have. If wherever you're reading this dial, this the altimeter, it's important to look first at this triangle right here. Legitimately, in a Cessna 172, the odds of us climbing above 10,000 feet are not very common. This is not a common thing. But it's always important to look at this first. Because if you don't, you might actually be, if this dial, if this was over here, you would actually uh, be at 10, 11,440 feet. So it's always important to check this one first. And then this one, and then this one. 
uh, and it will show you exactly how much elevation you have now or altitude that you have. Now the other important thing to recognize with an altimeter is that the altimeter reads our altitude based on the air pressure around the aircraft and it is relative to the change in uh, pressure from where you basically started. So um, what that means is if the pressure, air pressure outside of the airplane changes and it decreases because uh, one of the things that happens in nature is that the, the closer we are to the ground, the higher the air pressure is. But the higher we climb and the higher we get above the ground, uh, the lower the pressure of the air is around us. And so if, we, if the instrument here uh, detects a decrease in air pressure, it will actually change the dial on the altimeter to read a higher elevation. Now, those of you who are savvy to the world of weather and, and aviation might realize that there's actually a lot of things that can change the pressure of the air that we are in. Not just the altitude of the air that we're in, but also things like high and low pressure systems. Uh, the change in temperature of the air can actually change the pressure. And so one of the things that it's important to see is that all altimeters have something that we call the Colesman window. The Colesman window is designed for us to make sure that we have our altimeter set to the correct pressure, to the correct air pressure, so that when we read the dials on the altimeter, we're actually getting accurate numbers. Uh, and that's important because if we didn't set this to the correct air pressure for that day and that area that we're flying in, uh, we might actually get an incorrect measurement. Uh, and so uh, any airport that you are at, you can tune in what is called the ATIS information. Uh, and that ATIS information, one of the pieces of information that it will give you is uh, the pressure of the air for that day. And standard pressure is 2.9 or 9 or 2, 2.992 inches, 29.92 inches of mercury and so we have, that's actually what I have set here in the Colesman window if you can kind of see that right now and the way we change the Colesman window is but with this dial right here we turn this dial and as you can see the Colesman window is changing and as we adjust the Colesman window it's hard to see but our altimeter is actually moving as well so it is absolutely critical that we have the Colesman window set before we leave the airport before we take off to ensure that our altimeter is reading the correct altitude. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to climb this air. Uh, we're going to take off and make the airplane climb up to a different altitude and we're going to pick some different altitudes at which we're going to read our altimeter just to give you some good practice at reading an altimeter. Okay, can we see what our altitude is on our altimeter now? Uh, we have the triangle. Remember, always look at the triangle first. It is showing less than 10,000 feet, so we're below 10,000 feet. And we look at the next arrow, and it is the next dial, and it is pointing to uh, the two. So this is showing about 2,000 feet. And then the longest one is pointing right on the zero. So we can look together at this and say less than 10,000 feet. This one is pointing at 2,000. This one is right at zero. So we are flying at exactly 2,000 feet of altitude at this point of our flight. Okay, now we, let's look at this uh, reading of our altimeter. Uh, if we were to follow the rules that we were looking at before, we're going to look at the little triangle here, and we can still see that it is below 10,000 feet, which again, our Cessna 172 is almost always going to be there. If we go to the next one, it looks like we are aimed right at the 4. So we would see that it's we're at about 4,000 feet, right? So then we look at the longest of the dials, and what does the long dial show? Uh, it actually shows that we are between 9 and the 0. So does that mean we're at 4,000 feet? Actually, no, what that means is this is, if you look real close, it's the, the, the middle dial is actually just short of the 4,000 mark. We're not actually all the way to 4,000. We are actually at 3,920, 40, 60 feet. 3,960 feet. 3,000, uh, 3,900 and 60 feet. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, one of the things you do have to be careful about is 
making sure that this longest dial is actually all the way to zero or over if you're going to call it for this next number up like this four for the 4,000 down here. All right, we'll take a look at one more altitude. All right, it looks like we might be back at the same altitude we started at. Are we possibly on the ground? Uh, well, there's a number of things here that would show you that we're not exactly on the ground. So let's look at our altitude and see where we're actually at. Uh, so our middle one is up above uh, 1,000 feet right here. So we are up above 1,000 feet. And our longest dial here is up above 400. In fact, it's at 440. So one would think we were at 1,440, just like we started, right? But what's that last little piece of information we need? In fact, it ought to have been our first piece of information, and that is our triangle right here on the outside of the dial. It is showing that we are, despite the fact that we're flying a Cessna 172, over 10,000 feet. So we are actually 10,000 plus 1,000 plus 440, which makes us at 11,440 feet of altitude. Uh, 11,000, so 1,000 plus 10, 11,440 feet of altitude. That's pretty high. That, that last little bit of climbing took quite a while to get us up there, but that's how high we are flying in our Cessna 172. So I hope this information helps you understand about our altimeter, how it works, especially the Coleman window. That's very important for getting our altimeter set correctly, uh, that you will be able to understand your altimeter and use it, uh, whether it's in real world aviation or in your simulator. Well, I hope that video, uh, that information about the altimeter was very helpful for you today, especially uh, that detail about the difference between above ground level altitude and above sea level altitude is a very important piece of information because if you get them wrong, you end up on the ground while you want to be flying. So uh, if that was informative for you and helpful for you, uh, I also have another video called What It Takes to Get a Private Pilot's License. If you've ever wondered what it takes to go from not really knowing a lot about aviation to actually being a FAA certified private pilot, uh, my video will help cover all those details for you. And whether or not you actually want to get certified or you just love aviation and you're very curious about it and you want to know more, this would be a great video for you to check out. So click on the link uh, right here and it will take you to that video. Uh, so thanks for coming uh, to the channel today and watching our video.